What's up guys, the Merry Gamer here, and welcome back to City Skylines for another record session. Yet again, today I'm going to do another hour recording, which I'll split up into three episodes. Um, so last time we were here, we did a big expansion on Royal Burrows, which was fantastic. Exactly what we needed to do. We need to kind of start pushing for... Um, Residents, because like the big issue in the main moment that we've been having quite some time actually is we kind of can't get the residential demand to come really fast. It's really slow, um, which isn't. It's not too bad. It means that like um, the series has been able to go on a bit longer. Um, but personally, like I, d I didn't expect this series to go on as long because like I think what at the end of this will be twenty seven episodes, something like that. By the end of it, I think this is episode twenty five. So. It's been going on for quite some time, and we still haven't unlocked a few things, you know. We're still a bit of a fair distance away. Like, if you look at this, we unlock nuclear power plants and that. Then I think after that, it might be airports. Um, you know, there's still... Like, I'm pretty sure we haven't unlocked airports yet. Um, I can I need to double-check that. But, um... Yeah, see, uh, reach 55,000 population. We're only at 29, so we're still a fair distance away from kind of finishing because like I really wanted to kind of uh, unlock everything and um, actually what we didn't get to see I didn't point out last time but look at the water I've just noticed that then look at the pollution it's so so much more clean I did not notice that until just now so that's fantastic that uh, it's being able to catch up so we'll keep it in fast forward mode because we want we want that uh, pollution to go away and look um, a lot more cleaner like uh, it's still pretty pretty dirty water but um you know like looking at it you can hardly you can hardly think it's dirty water really so um that's really good kind of stay a bit darker here but this is kind of its natural colors all here so um that's good that's good i'm happy to see that but um yeah i'm not sure how long this series will go for because um i kind of want to experience everything in the game or at least unlock everything in the game that we can through the progression system uh, do we have, can we buy another tile yet? No, we can't buy another tile, because we like, see, you're supposed to be able to buy a, a, a max of nine, and we've got six, so we've still got three more tiles to buy, so, we've got a while to, um, oh, no, I didn't want to pause the game there, uh, we've got a while till we, uh, start unlocking everything, but, uh, it's getting to the point where almost I might need to start doing some progression off camera, just so we can start unlocking a few things, um, because <clears throat> it's getting to the point now where I have a feeling like this record session is going to be very similar to the last one, where we're going to be doing a lot of building, like, roads and planning and that sort of stuff, which is okay, but, um, I don't feel like as many of achievements in that, and the problem is, is that we can't get the population in here, even though we're putting in tourist attractions, we've got, you know, we've got shipyards, we've, we don't, I admit, mean, the trains aren't great, uh, we, we probably should have more train connections in, but, um, it doesn't mean, like, we probably should put another one over here, and we should have, like, another one, technically, like, over here and over here and over here as well. Uh, so that's stuff that we need to look into. But, um, it's not progressing as fast as I'd like it to. And I've expressed that a few times. I don't know why. Like, I've seen, I've seen people, uh, have series that have had the similar issue where the, where it doesn't feel like it's a progressed uh, enough, like everything else does, it just seems like the growth doesn't, but then I've seen other people that have had series where the growth has just gone through the roof really, really quickly, um, so it's a bit, it's a bit, it's kind of like a give or take sort of moment, like it kind of, something it will happen for some, and then it won't happen for others, so, um, I'm going to just zone in up here, just to make it easier, so then I don't have to worry about that, and we're going to zone in down here as well, we will have to give these guys their essentials, uh, but we need to wait for this kind of to fill in before pushing that. Like we've got these residential, not the residential, the commercial. Um, but there's no bit of commercial demand whatsoever, so we don't have to really worry about that. I have debated in here of actually putting in some offices, uh, but I'm not sure about that yet. Uh, because I, I want this mainly to be all residential, but again, we need some sort of commercial as well. So I'm thinking like this block and this block and like these two blocks or these three blocks kind of turn into like a commercial, like high density commercial and then it goes back into residential because again, like if we're trying to keep to the same concept as the other, these guys need a place to shop otherwise they're going to have to travel all the way out 
to like here, here, or into the city to travel, where these guys are pretty much a city on their own. Like they're like you know this is full of skyscrapers and everything. So it's uh, it's pretty interesting how we're gonna have to plan around that. I'm not sure how we're gonna do it. Um, but anyway, let's look at this stuff here. Because uh, we need to kind of plan for these guys. So elementary, they've got a bit of coverage, but not a lot. So we're going to put an elementary school on this corner here. And I'm going to put another one up in this, or maybe not that corner there, maybe like somewhere up here. Because we might need to add a road later on. So that should give some elementary school coverage for these guys. Um, but they still aren't... Still have a bit of a weak signal, like a weak uh, sort of... Connect. So we'll do that there, and let's put another one over here. Now let's look at high school. So these guys are obviously going to need power and all that, I understand that. High school has a bigger sort of reach. So if I put this here, that pretty much covers... If I put you there, actually, you pretty much cover the whole district just on your own. So I'm okay with that. Now university, we don't have any universities up in this area, so this is something I've been thinking of and I'm thinking of putting a university like right here and that will help cover <clears throat> all these guys um, not really mu that much in this corner oh no no it did it did it did. I think it did no it's just there they, they kind of do need another university up here so I, I might actually put a university space already occupied oh I want to put one there so then that's that one there. So that gives them a lot of cover. They don't really have power, these buildings, but that's okay because everything will kind of push across. Uh, let's look at garbage. So we don't have garbage coverage, so we're going to have to put garbage over here somewhere. Medical. Now, they don't have medical anywhere, so I'm going to actually put a hospital. I'm going to put a hospital down here. That gives actually... A hospital gives a lot of coverage. By the looks of it. Missing a tiny bit up here, so we're going to put a medical center, like, up here. Um, now, these guys, we need to give them crematoriums. So I'm going to put one up here, and I'm going to put another one up here. Just because they're going to need it. Uh, not too much coverage down here, so I will put one just down on here. Now, let's go fire departments. So, uh, we're actually going to do a firehouse, or fire station. We're going to put the fire station down here. And we're going to grab the police station, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to put the police station, we're going to put them right next to it. And then education we've looked at. So we've kind of got all the important buildings around. Not great police coverage in that top corner there, so we might have to... Well, we don't really need to place it now, but we need to monitor it, at least. Um, you know, these residents are slowly coming in, uh, which isn't a bad thing. Uh, we will zone in more down here to link to these guys, because these guys will want to have... Um, I'll put that there anyway. These guys will want to be linked. Um, then we can zone in all this stuff as well. And then we do need to put leisure in as well, but I think I might wait for the houses to be built before we put leisure in. Uh, just so it's a bit easier to do it that way, it gets an idea of how the whole area flows. So if I look at this and I do like that, then we can kind of just have residential running up all around this edge. <coughs> and then we got residential in these areas as well. But um, we kind of need them to fill in a bit better. Um, so we're going to wait for that. But unfortunately we can't go any faster than uh, 3, I think. If I go 4, it doesn't change the speed. Or 5, no. It just kind of alternates in between those things down there on the hot bar, unfortunately. So 3 is the maximum speed. I wish there kind of was a faster speed than that. But um, at the moment... The city is expanding reasonably well, if you look at the number down there in the bottom corner. The number is going up now, instead of down. We had a bit of an issue where we, I think at the start of last recording session, we were at 29. And we cre pretty much crept back to 29,000, uh, but uh, we went down to about 26 to 25,000 at one point. 
which was a bit concerning, but that was because we were doing a lot of expansion and fixing of roads. Uh, we pretty much fixed this entire area besides this little area here, which we do need to fix. I'm um, not too worried about fixing that just yet, so uh, since I'm really trying to focus on uh, this, but I wouldn't mind looking at um, getting another industrial zone installed. But I just don't know where to put it, is more of the question. So that's why I need to decide where to do. Because uh, we got this here. Um, we could have this road that leads down into another industrial zone, but I kind of want to leave that for power, in case we're going to need to put more power, which we will. Because um, these are like just single little shitty roads that we don't need to really worry about. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. I really wouldn't want one down in this area here. We could have another one here, but we've got the railroads that are kind of a bit annoying. Um, they're kind of in the way. Um, yes, 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 I know, I know they're not part of the power grid just yet, but I'm waiting for residents to kind of come in and then they'll be part of the power grid. Because if I look at the power grid, it's a bit choppy at the moment. They'll, they'll kind of eventually be connected. Eventually. So, um, that will happen. <laughs> in time. In time it will happen. Um, but yes, now I want to get another industrial area built today. Uh, because we've been having medium demand for quite some time. But I just need to think about where to put the road. So what I might do is kind of do... Because this is this road, I'm pretty sure... I've, I just used, like, the shitty two lanes for this stuff. I didn't use anything fancy at all. So I think I'm going to grab a curved road. I'm going to go down here. And I'll, like, curve this bugger <coughs> over here. And then I'll go up one. Or, like, we'll go, like, here. Like, up two, maybe. Maybe go back up one, maybe or something like that. I need to figure out a way to get this to work. And let's just go straight. Let's just do like that over there. And then let's go back down one. And do that. And then if I do like this, then this kind of connects for them there. And then we can make a grid in here or something. So now let's like do a big, big, big grid. I'm thinking like massive, like here. Then, yeah, we'll keep it to the 400 because it makes it just much easier. So then let's do this. And I know, I know it's not perfect roads or anything like that, but I'm not too worried about traffic congestion at the moment for this area. Because uh, it is industrial, so... And no one... Nothing but industrial is going through here. So I know I probably should be doing the better roads for these guys, but I'm not too fussed today about that. Because that can go there. Uh, we could actually probably put like a curve or something maybe here. I'm not sure how I really want to do it. <coughs> uh, so let's, um, if I come down maybe to like, oh, I can't go that far, so we'll have to go here, and we'll come back up to there, we'll zone in here, and you know what, let's zone this bit like this, just to add a bit of variety to the shape, and uh, let's do the same thing, let's go across three, so let's go to here, then let's go to like here, let's do that, and we'll zone in like this, so then this will just turn into a massive industrial zone, but it's kind of what we need at the moment. Well, we don't really, really need it, but it's just something ideal for us to have. Um, because we need to use this space, and we do have a bit of industrial demand, and that will help with a few things. It will, um, 
it'll, it'll, it'll provide us some more jobs. So, and that's what we want. And then more jobs, meaning more people want to live in our area. So, when you look at it, we'll have another... It's, it's kind of like funky, like, like not funky, but like, um, just like natural, just randomly plopped there. It's not all like straight in line with this, which is kind of good, you know, you don't want it to be all perfectly straight and beautiful. Uh, you know, it's never always the case sometimes. Um, so we'll do that. And we'll zone all this in as industrial. So let's get this guy in here. So again, not great roads for it, but I really don't care. So we're going to do this, and this, and we'll get all these guys in here. We'll help the industrial demand. And it'll go down a tiny bit. So we'll zone in these guys first. These guys will need to be added to the grid. So the best way to add these guys to the grid. Um, no, I don't want industrial on this road, on these roads here because I mean to be stopping and starting on these roads even though there's already like pretty much stopping starting all here anyway I'm not too worried about that so what I'm going to do is we're gonna go power we're just gonna connect this from here to right in this corner and oh don't worry you'll be connected eventually um, because we're gonna add this guy. I'm gonna grid in, if I get the paint tool, this entire block of stuff in here. And we'll do that as well. So then those guys will be there, and yes, we'll just get. Oh, yeah, and these guys will need water, won't they? Obviously. So we will have to do that for these guys. So let's grab the pipes here. Let's pause that for a second just to make it easier. A bit more better. So let's do that. Let's do that. Then let's let go from like here or so. Yeah, because like the way the layer of land works, it's going to go to there and kind of straighten back out. And then it needs to kind of come down again. So we'll do that again. So we'll come out to like here, and then straighten it back out here, and this one will just straighten down this way, and come across a tiny bit this way, just to make that grid easier. So then that's all got water, which is what we need, so then that will be industrial zoning and all that sort of stuff, and uh, we can get some more demand, and that will ho hopefully produce more jobs, and then more jobs will hopefully produce more residential demand, which is what we're trying to work towards at the current moment, so we kind of can just sit back and wait a little while to see how the, um, the meters work with each other. <clears throat> Population's still growing really well. I think we need to get to, what was it, 30, was it 35? No, we need 38, so we're not too far away from that. I'm hoping that we can get that in uh, this record session. The way the population's growing uh, isn't too bad. Uh, if we fill in this residential area, we should, s should be pretty close to it, and then if we start filling in like high density here, we should as well. Um, <clears throat> so let's uh, let's hope for the best that we can actually get that. Uh, but these guys are. N but the way I've done this, so this is like normal industrial, uh, where I need to actually pause that. And oh, should we actually should we should we make that normal industrial? You know what? Let's do it. Let's not make it forestry. Let's make keep this forestry. There's not too much forest in this area. So what I'll do is I'll get this district. And I'll just expand this district so that these buildings here stay um, the good old forestry stuff. And then I'll grab this district and we'll make a whole new district here. And this one will be just normal industrial. So then we actually have two types of industries going, which is probably a good thing to have. Um, you know, this is going to be okay, more pollution. Fair enough, um, but that doesn't bother me actually, because um, there's no like residential area in this, so um, it's pretty good actually. So we can do that. We have two districts there, so we have like the forestry, and then we have you know 
industrial sort of um, <coughs> and sort of area, uh, which is good. So then, yeah, as I said just like a few seconds ago, it's um, two industries. We could actually maybe have a third industry. Like, what's the other one that we have? So we have so this one here. 